In this problem, we have that an object with an initial temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit is submerged in a large tank of water whose temperature is 40 degrees. We are to find a formula for f of t, the temperature of the object, after t minutes, if the cooling constant is k equals 0.8. What I have down here is a version of Newton's law of cooling, and you can set this up a couple of different ways. The issue with the way I have it set up now is that if you have something cooling off, what must take place is that the coefficient on t must come out to be negative. So the fact that the question says that k is positive 0.8, the only way I'm going to get that coefficient on t here to come out to be negative is to alter my model by putting a negative symbol. Now when we replace k with 0.8, my coefficient on the t will be negative 0.8, and this will make it so as time increases, the temperature of the object will decrease. This is consistent with our story, given that they called this a cooling constant rather than a heating constant. That being said, I'd like to first point out that they gave us in the problem two of the three constants that I need to solve for in this problem. I need to find the value of A, which they did not give in the problem, but they did give that K is 0.8. So if I replace K here with 0.8, I get this, and this looks good because the coefficient on T now is negative, meaning something is decreasing in temperature over time. But they also gave me this T sub S, which stands for the surrounding temperature. So what's surrounding our object is water, because it said it's submerged in water, whose temperature is 40 degrees. So they basically gave me T sub S is 40. Now, to solve for the value of A, I need only plug in a time value and a temperature. They actually gave me this when they said that the initial temperature is 130 degrees Fahrenheit. When they say initial temperature, they're referring to time being zero. And when that happens, the temperature, which they're calling F of T, is apparently 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I was to replace the output variable that represents temperature with 130 and keep everything on the right-hand side the same, except replace T equals zero in for T here, I'm going to do a little bit of arithmetic in my head zero times anything is zero, so this whole exponent becomes zero, leaving me with e to the zero. It turns out that e to the zero is one. In fact, any number to the zero power is one with the exception of zero. It turns out zero to the zero is undefined. But e to the zero is one, which means all of this is the number one. So it represents a times one, and we need not write the number one, so it's just a. So what that leaves me with is the simple equation 130 equals a plus 40. Now I may merely subtract the 40 to the left-hand side to find the value of a, and it turns out to be 90. So now that I have the value of a, I can simply replace a with 90 in this model here, and I've found all three unknowns in the formula. I found the value of a, it was given to me what k was, and it was given me what t sub s was. So my completed model would be f of t equals 90 e to the negative 0.8 t plus 40. So hopefully that made sense, and as always, best of luck.